welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision, where I share with you all beauty, fitness, hauls, and everything you need to know about making candles. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing an amazing candle wick holder review. So the owner of Lifestyle 3D Custom Printing reached out to me. He makes custom wooden wick or cotton wick holders for single, double, or triple wick vessels. I'll put the link down below for you all. The best part about this is that all of the wick holders that he makes are custom and they're designed specifically for your jars. So each time you're interested in purchasing one, you have to email him directly and let him know the diameter of your jar. That is amazing just to make sure that you don't get a wick holder Holder that's too big or too small so yeah I'm definitely excited to try this right here like I said before I'll put the link down below okay guys I just want to give you a quick overview of what to expect when you do click on that link so as you can see here this is their best seller the custom wooden or cotton wick holders and centering tools for single double and triple wicks which is super impressive and I love that he mentions that you have to reach out to him directly before you buy for sizing details because it is he does specialize in customizations which is definitely great for situations where you have a different a unique jar as you can see people have had some great experiences so I'm looking forward to trying this out today here is the package it came in it's super efficient here so let's just open this up I'll open it up with you guys okay perfect Wow. All right. I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see exactly what I'm looking at. Okay, guys. So we are in my candle studio. And I just want to give you guys an idea of what they look like. So he sent me over three of the black centering tools here and these are perfect for my Oxford jar. So as you can see here, I have the Oxford uh, the Oxford large jars, I got these from the Flaming Candle. They used to be sold at Aztec, but they stopped selling them. It's another story. <laughs> but yeah, so these are the Oxford jars. And I used to just use some skewers and clothespins just to level it out. But honestly, this takes so long, I will not lie. <laughs> so it's really amazing that he sent these to me. And like, like I said before, these are custom, so they sit in there perfectly for my jars. So this is awesome. Yeah, I'm already liking them a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and make a candle for you guys so you can see exactly how they perform. So I just wanted to go ahead and let the hot glue gun heat up. And while that's heating up, I'll show you everything I used. So I'm gonna be using my one pound pouring pitcher here for this candle. And I'm gonna be using gloves for the wax. Make sure that's all set. And then I use a towel just to place the pitcher on just so it's, um, it's off the heat once I'm done melting the wax. And then here are the wicks I use. I'm going to be using the CD9 wicks. I got these from California Candle Supply. And then scissors and my specific candle scale. Don't get a kitchen scale. Always get a, a specific scale designed for candles. So yeah, I got this from Hobby Lobby. I'll link this down below. And then I just use these from Chipotle. They're disposable. You just throw them away. I just use this to measure out the wet, the fragrance oil, which is right here. I'm using apple cider donut from the Flaming Candle. Amazing. I don't need these for this. Let's so just toss those out of the way. And I'm going to be using the beautiful wick holder here from Lifestyle 3D Printing. Yes, and then as you can see, here's my Oxford jar and it just fits on there perfect. And then I have a thermometer. You always need a thermometer when you're doing your making a candle and it's perfect that we're doing this video because I got a comment recently about the fact that I use a thermometer and I put it all the way at the bottom. So this time we're gonna measure out the temperature in the middle of the wax instead of the bottom. And then I have here my spatula. I use a rectangular spatula here for mixing and also chopping up the wax. Speaking of the wax, I use cocoa, come on. I use cocoa apricot cream from the Widow with Co. And it's FDA approved. This is awesome stuff. I'm obsessed. I've used, I have like 45 pounds of it right now. This is the best, this is like the best stuff ever. So yeah, let's just go ahead and add in the wigs. 
Oh, and one more thing. I use a double burning method. So I just put a very little bit of water here. As you can see, I try not to do too much water. And then I use a burner here on my little rack that I had in my candle studio tour. If you haven't seen that, I'll put the link here so you can check that out. But yes, this is all that I use to melt down the wax. All right, guys, that was everything you need to make this candle. I'm gonna go ahead and show you step-by-step step what I do just to make my coconut apricot cream candles in these Oxford jars. And, this, and today we're gonna be doing it with these amazing wick holders, which I'm super excited about. If you do like videos like this, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. All right, let's just jump right into it. So as you can see here, we're using the CD9 wigs. I'm gonna go ahead and grab two because I double wick my vessels. Now for the fun part, as you can see here, the, he put the wick holders, one on each side, so then I just wrapped my wicks around it just so they were nice and secure. Next, we move on to the coconut apricot cream wax. We're measuring out nine ounces. All right, now we move on to the fragrance oil. We're using apple cider donut, and I like to switch it out for a spout here. That way it's easier to pour, and I'm not just doing catfuls, and it gives you a more precise pour. So yeah, we're gonna measure out one ounce of apple cider donut. Next, we move on to melting the wax. So like I said before, we're doing the double burner method here and I just put the pouring pitcher in the pot and it should melt down in about five minutes. So once the wax melted, we're just waiting for it to get up to 180 degrees before we take it off the heat.
Hey Siri, set an alarm for two minutes. I set your alarm. So now that the fragrance has been evenly distributed and fully mixed in, I'm going to go ahead and move on to pouring, which is my favorite part. And now that we have these amazing wick holders, it's a much easier process. Okay guys, so it's been about an hour, so I just want to go ahead and take off the wick holders and let you guys know my review. Yes. I always like to take off the wick holder within an hour and then just go ahead and lit it up, and lit this baby up. Alright, so yeah, just take that off and then grab my wig trimmers and a lid. Okay, so yeah. I like how they came out. I think this is a perfect tool, you know? I like how they're still very level, so that's great. I think it's really a great tool for for us who do double wigs, like he definitely did good with that. Yes. Yeah, like I said before, this is from Lifestyle 3D Printing on Etsy. I'll put the link down below for you guys to check him out. These are really great because they're custom, catered towards the diameter of each of your unique jars, which I love. So overall, I'll give this five stars, five out of five. It's a great experience, and I'm looking forward to getting more for my three-wick jars. If you like videos like this, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. All right, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, your week the next hour just living your purpose and love life okay bye